Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As we all know, Instagram is one of the biggest social media apps in the entire world. Honestly though, I've been using Instagram way more than normal recently because of their new filters. Now, when Instagram first released stories, I feel like not many people really cared about them because the filters on there weren't that great. And also we had all had Snapchat for the last like several, several years. Snapchat gave us the dog filter, the skin soothing filter, and also the flower crown filter. I mean, truly, what else more could you really need? Well, apparently the answer to that is quite a lot because recently Instagram took the crown and added the ability for users on the app to actually submit their own face filters and oh my god it was quite the game changer. Over the last few months there have been a ton of filters to go very very viral on Instagram because of how cute they are and I have found myself wanting to open up my stories to take selfies literally all the time. So for today's video I thought it'd be a really cool challenge to try to create Instagram filters in real life using makeup like this one, this one, and this one. So if you guys want to see how I created these looks, keep on watching. All right, you guys, jumping right into today's video. As you can see, I already pretty much have my entire base on. Most of these filters are based on like either eyeshadow looks or just different art things on the face. So we're gonna add on top of this. But if you do wanna see how I created this base, make sure you click right up here and check out my new updated makeup routine. I've been using a lot of new products and a lot of techniques and I go super in depth. So make sure you guys check that out if you wanna get to this stage before we actually throw on the filters. Out of all the filters that I've seen recently, one of my favorite ones to use myself is this one, which is called Blue Butterflies by Ur Gur. As you guys can see, it smooths out the skin add some full freckles and also some cute little blue butterflies at different places on the face and makes the lips a little bit more plump. So I'm gonna to try to recreate this one using makeup. The first thing that I'm gonna do for this makeup look is to add on some faux freckles. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little liner brush. This is the M250-0 and a little bit of brow powder and just add on some cute little dots. I've done a few different videos on fake freckles before on my channel, but just to recap, I'm using different varying pressures all throughout. So some of the freckles are a little bit more pigmented and some look like they're more underneath the skin. The more natural, obviously, the better. And then I'm just going to tap anything in as well. Fake freckles are one of my favorite steps to do in any makeup routine. They look so cute, but I will say they are pretty challenging to do. It definitely takes quite a lot of practice to get them to look real and natural. So it's all about different techniques and seeing what works best for your skin tone. And then just on top, I'm gonna to take a little fluffy brush and dip into that same little brow shade, tap off any excess product, and then just kind of lightly like splotch this into the area. This just adds back a little bit more dimension into the freckles and kind of gives it more like sun-kissed Look. Now I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna draw a butterfly. All right, you guys, so I took a photo of myself with this filter, which obviously is a little bit scary looking, but I just went ahead and zoomed it in so that way I'm able to kind of use the own filter as a reference when it comes to drawing this on. So I'm just gonna first start off with a tiny little brush and I guess draw a butterfly. So the first one is like on the cheekbone, like right here. So, oh my God, I'm scared. Okay. <gasps> so I'm trying to body here, making a little bit thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Usually for me, I prefer the opposite, but <laughs> that was a really bad joke. Sorry about that. I'm gonna draw the two little wings. <laughs> oh no, this might be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh oh, okay, now I'm just gonna try to mirror that on the other side. That looks so bad. Maybe if it's colored, it won't look like as awful. Now I'm just gonna grab some liquid lipstick colors on the back of my hand and I'm going to start mixing together the different tones for this butterfly. And I'm just gonna, you know, start filling this in and really hope that it comes together because right now it's not looking great. First, I'm mixing together a super light sky blue tone and I'm going to put that in the wings just like this. The good thing about liquid lipsticks too is that they do dry down so I won't have to set them with eyeshadow, hopefully. Then I'm even gonna take a little bit of of white as well and put that at the very, very like edges of the wings to hopefully make it a little bit brighter. Then I'm gonna use a deeper blue tone with that same little liner brush and put this towards the middle of the butterfly to create that like illusion of a shadow as if the wings are opening. Grabbing an even darker blue shade, I'm just gonna add a little bit more dimension into the very inner parts. And then also connecting like that wing up just like that because there'll be a shadow in the middle. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. I didn't think I wanted to set this with shadow, but I honestly think I'm going to, just because some of the liquid lipstick is like a little bit shiny still, and I really wanna make sure it's fully matte. So, just gonna grab the mini palette and grabbing a little bit of a playground on a flat brush. Grabbing a little bit of flashback, just to highlight. Yes, okay, now, doing that same exact thing, but gonna use a little bit of cola. Just adding in some dimension in the wings. 
right up against the edges of the butterfly and then creating some super thin little fine strokes like that into the body as well. Yeah, that looks good. Now I need to use a tiny liner to outline the butterfly. So I'm gonna grab my Tom Ford liner. I'm gonna carefully outline this and also create the shapes that are inside the wings. Okay, that, you can't tell me that's not cute. That is cute. And now last, but finally not least, I'm going to add a few more super tiny dots of that light blue just on the bottom portion of that wing. Okay, that's cute. That is cute. That looks good, right? All right, you guys, and I think that is one of the butterflies all complete. I was definitely a little bit nervous at first, but I think this is one of those type of art pieces that definitely takes a lot of like layering to get to the final result. And I think it looks pretty cute. I'm gonna speed through and add two more of them to other parts of my face, then we'll come back to finish off this look. All right, you guys, these are all three of the butterflies all complete, and I think this looks so cute. I'm literally obsessed with this. It very much reminds me of the blue butterfly look from the campaign last year, and now our brand new intro graphics. Um, you could definitely stop right here, but I wanna keep going and turn this kind of whole filter into a look. I am just gonna add on a subtle little blue wing liner just to kind of like wing my eyes out. So grabbing this budget brush, this is the M213 and I'm gonna dip into a little bit of a playground on this brush and I'm just going to kind of smudge this on my lash line in the shape of a wing but not worrying about it being too defined. Focusing majority of this color on the outer portion of my eyelid to really focus on pulling it upwards. Okay. With any extra fluffy brush, I'm just going to lightly buff out that edge because I do not want it to be a super defined line. And now I'm just going to grab a an angled brush and dip into Cola, the dark blue shade of the palette once again, and use this to make a little bit more of like a defined wing. Once again, just really pushing the shadow into the lash line. And I'm only going to focus this color on that outer corner and wing. And then you guys know my little new trick. Just going to spritz that brush and get any excess shadow on the there, wet, pinch it together so it's super sharp, and then create a tiny little line right in that inner corner. Yes, oh my gosh, that's, okay, actually I am happy I did this, ooh, yay. Then with my little concealer brush from my foundation beforehand, just grabbing a tiny little bit of concealer, cleaning up that wing, oh my gosh, yes. I just applied some mascara using my MAC Extended Play, and I'm just gonna pop on my pair of Lily Lashes at Miami Flares. Wow, this is pretty. Why did I snap? All right. Both eyes are now complete and we are so close to the end. We only have one step left and that is of course the lips. Now, the Instagram filters for some reason always like to make the lips like massive and I feel like it's only appropriate to follow suit. So I'm going to grab my regular lip liner, which is curvy from ColourPop and I'm going to go a little bit crazy with the overlining today. I guess it doesn't look that crazy actually. <laughs> okay, it, no it does. Well, <laughs> no, it's crazy. Imagine I come back to the next video like, hi sisters, Jane Charles here and welcome back to my channel. I'm just popping on some lipstick. And finally, gonna top this off with some gloss. All right, you guys, and this is the Blue Butterfly Filter by Erger on Instagram, all complete. I am obsessed with how this look turned out. I honestly would have no problem walking out like this in public. The little details on the butterflies were a little bit challenging at first, but I think we definitely got the hang of it. I think that you guys could easily replicate this at home. If you do, definitely tweet me a photo and make sure you tag Erger as well for credit, of course. But now it is time to move on to the next look. The next filter that I really want to use today is one that I've been seeing quite a lot recently, and that is Cloudy Day by Brian. Now, I really like this one because it is a little bit more simplistic. There's no like crazy reshaping like some of the other filters, but it is super cute with just some white clouds on the cheeks, which should be pretty easy to recreate with makeup. And then I have a really fun idea for the eyeshadow look as well. All right, you guys, so literally all we're gonna need for this look is a white cream paint or liquid lipstick or white concealer, literally anything that you have in your collection, and then also a white eyeshadow. Today, of course, I'm gonna be using the Morphe X James Charles, the shade Flashback in the palette because it is super, super pigmented and also a little concealer brush. This is the Morphe M224. Literally, what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this concealer on this brush, and I'm going to go in and just make a little bit of like a little, a nice little hump. And then with the excess concealer, I'm just going to carefully blend downwards, just like that. And I'm going to put another hump right over here. Maybe like a little bit right in here, maybe a little bit over here as well. Literally, like that took me three seconds flat. Now, with a little fluffy brush, I'm just going to grab a little bit of flashback and just set that concealer in place. And then also use it to kind of buff out that bottom edge because we do want these clouds to look very, very fluffy and soft on the face. We don't want them to look like they're like very sharp or anything. I'm gonna grab a little bit more concealer and do another one maybe right over here. Maybe we'll go for a smaller one this time. Then maybe one over here too, a really tiny one. 
that's so cute, a little cloud floating in the wind. Okay, with any excess powder, I'm just gonna put a little bit more flashback kind of around the cloud region, just so it like looks like, I don't know, it's like floating in the sky or something. Now I just wanna add a little bit of dimension to these clouds, so I'm actually gonna pick up the brand new Morphe 35 Eye Palette. <coughs> This just came in the mail this morning and I opened it right away because this palette is so beautiful. Oh my God, it is literally all icy, beautiful pastel shades. I'm obsessed with this. I cannot wait to create looks with this. In this look today, I'm literally just gonna be using this gray shade. So you definitely don't have to use this if you don't want to. It just happens to be sitting next to me. But if you guys do wanna check this out, I would definitely recommend. And of course, you can use code James for 10% off. I'm just gonna use the light gray shade to add some dimensions in between like the little humps of the clouds. Okay, so that is pretty much the filter of this already complete. I think it looks super cute. Now for the I had a sneeze coming in and laughed. Are you kidding me? Jesus, for the eye portion of this look, I really wanna create a white smoky eye. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna look ridiculous, but we are going to try it. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that white concealer and I'm gonna put it on my eyelid. Aside from like a cut crease, I don't think I've ever actually done anything with white eyeshadow before, which is crazy to think about, but I have wanted to for a very, very long time. So this could look really, really cool or really stupid, but I guess we're gonna find out in a second. Honestly, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, so I just looked through my lash drawer and I just found these pair from Batty B Lashes by Jenny69. Love her the absolute most. And this style is called IG and I think this is actually perfect for this look. I really like Miami's obviously, but I think they're a little bit too dense, whereas this will look nice and like, uh, I almost wanna say like, this is very like e-girl, anime style makeup look. So this is like very cartoony, which I think will be good. I just layered on some flashback from my palette over top of the white shade from the other palette that I was using. And literally look at how much better that looks. Not to like toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot, we kind of did that. All right, you guys, well, this is pretty much half of the face of this cloud look all complete. I'm gonna speed through the other half and then we'll be right back to finish off the rest of the face. Wow, oh my God, this is cute. Okay, now for our last and final step of this makeup look, I think I just wanna put on like a, like a little ombre. Oh my God, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this red gloss. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, that is everything. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the Fenty Beauty gloss in the shade Fussy. All right, you guys, like I said, super, super simple. That is this Cloudy Day Filter by Brian, all complete. Oh my gosh, I love how this one turned out. It was very easy to recreate. I think that you guys could definitely do this at home. I feel like this look is very light, angelic, almost euphoric, if you will. This is a very like euphoria style makeup look. I like this. I definitely wanna try out more looks with white eyeshadow in the future as well. Let me know what you guys think. If you recreate this, make sure you tag me and the original creator, but let's move on to our last and final filter. Okay, I somehow managed to get all the clouds and the white makeup off my face, and we are back to my normal base, ready for the final filter. It has been popularized by Miss Kylie Jenner, and it is this one, which is called Cherry on the Cake by Barbara Malowitz. Now, as you guys can see, there's definitely more of that like crazy reshaping effect that we had in filter number one, so we can do that again with the lips in this look. These ones are crazy. Um, we have a whole lot of pinky tone blush, which I've been loving recently, some pink highlighter, and then also two super cute cherries on the cheekbones, which we can draw on with some liquid lipsticks again. This shouldn't be too hard of one to recreate, and I think it looks really awesome, so let's just jump right in. All right, you guys, so for the first step of this filter, I wanna go ahead and add the pinky tone blush all over the face. I'm gonna use this blush from MAC called Dolly Mix and just this little cute Jaclyn Hill blush brush. I wanna do this first just because blush is one of those things that tends to kind of wear off during the makeup application process, and I don't want it to go away. So we're gonna load this on there. Great, so we're just gonna, gonna bring it up to my temple just a little bit as well. Why not? Might as well fade it up there. Does it have a little bit of blush on the nose as well? Let's see. Oh yeah, it goes all the way up. Jeez, like the entire face is pink. I mean, I love blush, but this is a little bit excessive. A little bit on the nose, why not? All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the highlighter. So I'm just taking an M501 brush. I'm gonna dip into literally from the palette. Now you guys know I use this all the time as a blush shade to mix together my blush and highlighter because it's kind of like a pinky peach orangey tone, but it also has a beautiful pink reflect. So I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones, give it a little spritz. Oh, look at that. That is. Gorgeous. Maybe a little bit on the forehead as well. And then just to intensify that pink glow a little bit, I'm gonna throw it way back to the OG Beauty Guru days to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette. This was the first palette that I picked up that had a pink highlighter in it. As you can see, it has clearly been through <laughs> quite a lot. Look at this. So beautiful. Is that enough blush? Pff, I can literally just <laughs> Did I just ask that question? Oh my God. And then just super quickly, I'm gonna add on a few faux freckles to this look just because it does have them in the original filter and I wanna stay true to it. 
Let's draw some cherries. So to draw on the cherries, once again, I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick. And for this, I'm just gonna grab the Kylie in the shade, the After Party Matte. But of course you guys can use any red that you want to. I like this one because it is definitely more of like a pinky tone red than an orangey tone red. So really sticking true with the color scheme that we clearly have going on right now. I wish there was like a way that I could like stamp this on my face. I wonder. Oh my God, let me try to do this. Okay, if I use like a bottom of a lipstick and like rub this in there. You're gonna slap that on your face now? Is this cheating? And I'm now going to try to stamp this. This might be a really bad decision, but it also could be good. <laughs> okay, well that was a flop. There we go. Now I'm just going to, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna like, I can literally just, oh gosh. I mean, there we go. <laughs> Some lovely four circles. All right, now grabbing a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade You're Kidding from the palette or any other bright red shadow that you may have, just to you know really make the staining that we're about to get even worse. And we're going to set that red liquid lipstick in place, just to make sure it doesn't move or smudge around. Okay, now in this filter, the cherries are actually completely flat and just like one dimensional, or I guess two dimensional, hello. But y'all know me, I like to go above and beyond. So I just wanna take a little shader brush and dip into a little bit of Boutique, which is the maroon shade from the palette. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading to the cherries just so they're not like one solid color because that's kind of boring. I'm also gonna take that same brush that we used the white on in the last look for the cloud and grab a little bit of flashback and maybe a little bit of pinkity drinkity as well from the palette. And I'm gonna use this to add some highlights into the opposite corner of the cherries. Now we have to add on the little stems. So I'm just going to grab a green liquid lipstick and then just connect the two together. Then I'm just gonna draw in the little leaves as well. And then I'm just gonna set this in place using a little bit of Social Blade from the palette. Now I'm going to use a black liner and outline everything. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Oh hell no. Oh, oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw the little face details that they have on the filter. Time for the final details. We add in the white liner. I mean, could be better, could be worse. Period. Green at all? Mm. I know, green is just an ugly color. I mean, I'll just put some nice pink highlight in my inner corner, perhaps some skip from the palette to start off as like a lovely, oops, that's bright. I hate when my palette is too pigmented. Do I want a little inner corner glow in there? Perhaps a little bit of literally? I definitely don't hate that, that's okay. Great. Now we're gonna add a little bit of brow bone highlight. For lashes today, I'm just gonna pop on my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Regular, not the flare this time. We are now on to the last step, which is of course the lips. Personally, I would love to just leave this look right here. I think this looks super cute. I'm very, very happy with it so far. I don't wanna do the whole like big lip thing, but I wanna respect the artist. So we're just gonna go true to the filter and we're gonna overdraw the living crap out of my lips once again. All right, sisters, and last but finally not least, that is our Cherry on the Cake by Barbara Meitzowitz filter look all complete. I think out of the three filters, this one was definitely the most challenging just because getting the circles to be nice and round, getting the kind of cherries in the right place. But in the end, I do think this one is the cutest. Look at the little cherries just on my face. But I think the simplistic inner corner definitely turned out really, really good. But I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Once again, if you recreate this one, make sure you tag me and the original artist. Thank you guys so much for watching this recreating Instagram filters using only makeup video. I had so much fun doing this and I think all these turned out so cute. Definitely give it a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment. Let me know which filter was your favorite. Was it one of the three that I created or do you have another Instagram filter that you love and that you want me to recreate? Definitely let me know because I would love to do a video like this in the future. This was so much fun and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have not already, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. I would love to have you in the family 
and also click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook are all just James Charles, and my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Abby. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you at home watching would like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when I go live on Twitter and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.